A new era is upon us. Paying homage to the old, but looking forward to the new. From the team that wrote the playbook for the biggest events in the modern era. In a space that needs something real, authentic, and unapologetic. We're fighters at heart, champions in the ring telling stories that only those that have walked that walk can tell. This is the start of a new chapter. Enter this new way with us. Welcome to the family. This is all the smoke fight. Hey man, we got a real big announcement over here at All The Smoke Productions. We are launching All The Smoke Fight, which will entail boxing and MMA, a foundation that was laid down and we're gonna pick up and carry on. So I'm really excited as we continue to diversify All The Smoke Productions. Let's welcome to the family, Andre yes, sir, Ward. Yes, my brother. One of the brother. greatest my to brother. ever do it. We linked with Andre last summer. We get a chance to have you on the show and you know we started talking business and said we had some stuff cooking and we told you when it was ready, we were gonna need you. So you know that is done now and we're really excited to partner with someone of your status and the credentials you have, but not only that, your ability to articulate and, and get it out there to the masses. So we're really excited to partner up with you and what do you kind of feel like the vision of all the smoke fight will look like. Besides bringing the credibility. Yeah, credibility. Uh, I think I got a little bit of that, just a little bit. <laughs> um, right here. I see uh, ATS fight being very similar to what you guys have already built. You have real conversations, you asking the right questions so you can get the right answers. And because you've done it, you've walked in them shoes and you know how to approach somebody in the space, you get different types right. of answers. You get right. a certain transparency, you get a certain type of love and respect. And that stuff comes across when people are watching that. So that's what I really want to bring to my sport. I got respect for a lot of the media members and, and really today, they're not all media members. Right. It's, it's A lot of it is YouTubers who feel like they can hit a lick or make money right. in the boxing space. And when you come like that and you're not a lifer, right. you don't always show the game respect. So right. myself and a few others that are out here doing it, man, I want to try to preserve the respect level yeah. for these fighters because they're not just your entertainer mm -hmm. on a Saturday afternoon. They're not just fighters, man. These people are business people, mm -hmm. the men and the women. They got families, they, they husbands, mm -hmm. brothers, and that stuff has to come across. So right. that's what I want to do, man. I want to, we're going to talk to X's and O's. We're going to get into the fights. We got to mm -hmm. do that. That's the foundation. But we're going to spin off and talk about the lifestyle, yes. who you are. Like you said, what you like to eat, mm -hmm. what you're doing with your money. Oh, you build, you build something in your mm -hmm. community. Those are the things mm -hmm. that we got to talk about. Yeah, I mean, boxer's lifestyle is different than any other sports Anybody. lifestyle. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because you train all year long mm -hmm. and you might just fight once yes, that sir. year. So mm -hmm. the lifestyle and the way they live is different. One thing that I really found synonymous with hooping and boxing is we're big fans of each other. And Jack, obviously you're a huge fan in this boxing space and, and someone who studies it and, and works in the space and well, does some commentating. What is the crossover? Why is there so much attraction to and respect for each of our sports and, and coming together? Well, I think for me, I think that's why I relate one, the goddamn brawl, of course, in uh, oh, Madison yeah. and the Palace. Boxers <laughs> love the fact that I look like I could throw a punch. Mm -hmm. But second, we <laughs> bond over being champions and what it takes to oh, be a champion. Oh. I think that's how I relate with a lot of boxers because me being a champion in my profession and you being a champion in your profession, we can share stories of what it took and the ups and downs to get there. Yeah. And I think that's how I relate. So you respect champions when you see them regardless of what sport it is. I think that's how I relate with a lot of guys. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know too many basketball players that don't like boxing. Right. And I don't know too many fighters that don't like like, uh -huh. like basketball. And I think uh -huh. Roy Jones was one of the, the first fighters, probably the last, that really highlighted hoop and basketball the way that he did. I mean, the man loved it. Like, he played a semi-pro basketball game earlier in the day, and then in his hometown of Pensacola, fought Eric Lucas later that night and, and got a <laughs> knockout, I believe. So, I mean, only that's Roy. stuff that only Roy Jones Jr. Yeah. That's why he's set apart and it ain't really nothing like him. So mm -hmm. that love still exists, man. And that respect is still there as well. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, our goal has always been to have in-depth conversation and being able to humanize our guests. And like you said, I think the importance of having someone who's been there and done it and, and been to the top of the mountain asking the question. So really excited for, yes. for all the smoke fight and really uh, excited to have you as a part of the family, man. So welcome. Yeah, I'm happy to be here, brother. Definitely I appreciate y'all having me. Make all the sense in the world. SOG.